Hello, this is Alex Case, and this is my review of Castlevania 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I previously mentioned that I've considered the Castlevania games to be very hard, perhaps unnecessarily hard, or at least, or at least excessively hard. And in playing this game, I still have to say that that, that, that opinion holds up. The game, it's fun, but it is rather difficult. The game has you playing as Trevor Belmont at this time when the game came out, the latest member of the Belmont clan, and the first time we haven't played as Simon. And he is seeking to raise slash break Dracula's curse, just like in all the other games. Though this is the first one to include other characters uh, that you can team up with in the game, some of them appear in later games. Sophia Belnaz, to be specific, and Alucard, Dracula's son. Sophia would later reappear, or appear again, in Dracula X, and also, oh, Dracula X, also known as Rondo of Blood, and Alucard would famously feature prominently in Castlevania Symphony of the Night, one of the first Castlevania games not to feature prominently a whip building Belmont as the main character. The game has a somewhat non-linear path to it. It's not as heavily RPG-like non-linear as Castlevania 2 was, but it still has the discernible levels and different paths you can take to get to Dracula's castle, and depending on the path you take, you can unlock or release certain characters to assist you. You may have to fight them in the case of Alucard, but you will be able to have characters who can assist you and lend their special abilities to the game, to your gameplay. The game plays decent. Um, it's superior in certain respects to Castlevania. The, ju the jump doesn't work as well as I'd like, but otherwise it's a decent um, Castlevania game. The main thing I, I really miss about this um, that this game has and other Castlevania games don't have a rough the other way around is my first Castlevania game I ever played was Super Castlevania 4 for the SNES, and I liked the ability to do the uh, eight-way whip and twirl whip afterwards and that sort of thing. It really gave me a bit more, there's more options for hitting the target, but it seems like things work a little better in terms of for its combat options. Since you only have the whip, and you have alternate weapons, but you're limited in ammunition in those, if, you, if your whip isn't able to hit the enemy at all, um, say back to say an angle, it becomes a bit more difficult to take out the enemies because you have to basically ration your hearts or uh, start over to ration your hearts or die and then hopefully get the old weapon you want when you re uh, when you come back to life and get your new life. So the game and so that's my main beef there. I unfortunately wasn't able to beat the game so I didn't get to Dracula. I made it almost to, I made it to Dracula's castle but ran a brick wall on the first mid boss there. Anyway, otherwise I enjoyed the game. Um like I do find it rather unnecessarily hard or excessively hard in portions specifically related to enemies attacking you while you're on stairs. Medusa heads and for that matter the um, skeletal dragon shooting fire at you. Those are my big problems there. Uh, it's a decent game. It's not the best Castlevania game, I'd say. I recommend either getting Symphony of the Night or, for that matter, Dracula X Collection for the PlayStation Portable as your my pick for Castlevania games. Uh, but otherwise, this isn't a horrible game. It's Slightly better than Castlevania 1, I'd say. Um, definitely better than Castlevania 2. Um, but other than that, it's not the best game. Um, it's not the best game in the series, but it's still good. And so, I'm going to give this my recommendation. It is available through Virtual Console. Um, it's also available through GameTap. Uh, it, the version out there, I believe, is closer to either the arcade version more the Japanese version in terms of audio sound quality. But other than that, uh, if you want to get this game, you'll have to get it on eBay. Uh, there aren't any other, like, PlayStation Portable or PlayStation 1 Castlevania collections or anything like that. I would have the 
game on it, aside from Virtual Console Game Tab. So, until my next review, I want to thank you very much for listening to this Alex Case, and I wish you a good day.